We're checking this out here. The enemy team picked quite poorly, but I want to take this opportunity to show people how to beat Master Yi. A lot of people say that he's like OP, right click, just stun him, blah, 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 blah. The reason why Master Yi is so weak in high elo is because he struggles to set up benefits early, which means that it's hard for him to snowball. In low elo, he can snowball very easily to the point where he's hard to deal with. In high elo, he never becomes hard to deal with. And that's what we're going to show you this game, is how we can keep Master Yi behind. So our goal this game is to make sure that Master Yi does not have his Gunzu's Rage Blade by 20 minutes. Or if he gets it around 20, that'll be good. So Master Yi really struggles from getting ganks. So we're just going to wait. We are actually going to wait for this one because he's such an easy gank. Look at this. He's such an easy gank. Look at this. So easy, right? This <laughs> he, he is a joke. He's actually a joke champion. And if you don't, don't treat him like he's some unbeatable thing. All you have to do is treat him like he is. He's a champion that's squishy. He has no mobility. He's slower than most uh, people's uh, typical move speed abilities. Ooh, God, that sucked. What the fuck? Where's my leap? All right, <laughs> that was that was a bit scary there. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for these wolves, and yeah, we're gonna kill them. Heck yeah, we are. Boink. All righty. Knock these out of the way. I would like to get level 3 because the W is really strong, especially with the Ravenous Hunter. Ravenous Hunter on Jax is really good as well. Give me level 3. So what we can actually do here is I'm going to show you guys a little trick with the Gromp. So the Gromp's first 4 hits hit really hard and really quickly. So you want to hit your E and dodge the first 2. You can actually dodge 3 if you time it correctly. I didn't time it correctly. And now the Gromp is super easy. Look at this. 40 damage. And very slow damage, right? It just goes down. 37. 37 is the bottom here. No problem. The Gromp's super easy. Um, we're not going to be able to do the blue. So we're just going to go ahead and back. And we want to back. And we want to grab some items that will give us better ganking ability against this Master Yi. Because we want to shut him down. The thing is, I'm not picking on Yi because he's my main. And, you know, somebody picked him from me. Etc. Etc. I'm picking on Yi because that's just what you do against Yi. He's just... He's, he's a free win. <laughs> he is honestly a free win. Mm, she's going for my camps here. So we actually see her going for my camps. We wanna we wanna make note that she's coming this way and get ready to jump her. Alright, fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and kill this. So the only reason we came down this side, I was gonna go boss side. The only reason I came to this side is because we had vision of kindred heading down into my top side jungle. So let's go ahead and kill this here. And easy, easy, easy. We're going to max W. I like the max W on Jax. I know some people max other abilities. Me, not so much. Let's go up here. We want to put down a Poro because we like to have vision of where Kindred's going. Especially because Kindred is one of those counter junglering type things. Alrighty. Um, we might be able to jump this Yi. If, if he alphas, we can jump him. All right, I'm coming down on this, Kindred. All right, never mind. We're going to go over here and prepare for um, these camps here. We don't want to waste too much time camping Yi. Uh, and obviously, he's not very pushed. Rise is pushing him in. So no need for that. Thank you again for the sub feed, Meepy. Much appreciated, dude. All right. Let's go over here. We still cannot invade him, but we can go on Kindred. It'd be nice if Rise showed up there. Okay, that works out. It would have been really nice if Rise was paying attention, but I'll take it. Um, so I like to get Blood Razor, but I'm going to actually grab this uh, Sheen. And I'm going to actually do a full clear upwards. Oh no, he's so dead. 
Rip. It'd be really, really nice if uh, Rumble wasn't losing lane. So they are all AD. So this would be a good game to play some kind of hybrid Ejax. Let's go ahead and we want to kill this crab before Kendra does. She is also level 4. We want to deny this Kindred stacks. So we got the, another crab. She's probably not going to be happy about that, but we're just denying her stacks right now. Uh, we want to be one step ahead of her. We know where she's going thanks to that. Let's go ahead and dodge these other two hits. Alrighty. Almost six. So um, the dragon on Jax is a bit harder than Master Yi because on Jax, when we want to do the dragon, we need at least like a Sheen and Bloodraiser. With Master Yi, all we need is Red Smite. All right, let's go down. Gonna grab uh, the red buff. This will get us level six. And also we want level six as well. I, I don't like to do dragon on Jax before level six. Let's go ahead and dodge us. All righty. Now we're level six. So before you do dragon, the earlier you do dragon, the less likely you need a pink ward. Uh, before eight minutes, I don't typically feel like I need a pink ward. But since bot lane is missing, yeah, bot lane just face checked that dragon. Since bot lane was missing, they might have warded it. Yeah, they just warded it here. Oh. <laughs> People always die for the pinks. I thought... So what I was trying to do is I wanted to jump from here to the ward. Uh, I didn't have enough range for that, though. I guess that would have been kind of ridiculous if I could have made it, though. Um, Rumble's having a hard time with Ribbon, but he did kill her. It wasn't a free kill there. I can't really kill this Yi because this Rise is constantly shoving into the tower. We can't do Dragon yet because uh, Nami has a ward in there. Let's go ahead and shove this. We want to get Yi, Yi off of the cannon. We're just trying to deny him farm. Come on, baby. Mm, get him, Rise. What are you doing, bro? Oh, my God. I just got metabated. <laughs> GG. Oh, no metabate. We actually came out on that one. I was really, really hoping we can kill him there. That was really close, though. That was really close. I didn't get my full Conqueror there, but that worked out fine. That worked out fine because Kendra didn't have all. We are going to go ahead and grab our Blood Razor because we want to get to that crab before Kendra does. That is our goal here. So we're going to run as fast as we can. So Kendra should be relatively far away from that crab. Rise should be able to take that, no problem. Now, I am going to go for this dragon. I don't think Kendra will... Oh... Alright, so Rise kind of made that very obvious that I was going to do that drag. <laughs> oh, I don't think my bot lane is going to win this. Oh! Oh! That was close. That was close. Let's go and grab the pink ward. It might have been warded, though. Oh, did Rumble die again? What is going on top lane? Um, I really want to get that fire dragon, but... Riven's going to be going for my red hair. Or blue. And I still have a full clear that I want to work on. Okay. I was a bit worried about that one, honestly. Jax actually uses a lot of mana. Nope. <laughs> Don't really care. I'm taking that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a max between E and Q. I personally like them both. I prefer a Q max. But every once in a while, I like to get me some E.
Oh, that ward was there. That might have had vision in the pit. So this will be a fire dragon. We're just trying to secure objectives. Not bad. All right, let's go try and put some pressure on Yi. I don't think he'll stay though, but you know, you never know. You know, never know. Let's put a ward over here. And sweep that way. He's gone completely. Let's grab this. And uh, I don't like to put pink wards here because they'll typically find them pretty easily. Possibly gonna lose mid. Looks like Rumble will try to D it. Oh fuck. Okay, that was unfortunate. Uh, is Rumble gonna lose the E? So useless. He's two six now. I like the Gagunzus against Master Yi. Um, we'll keep working on it. We're gonna finish Trinity and then we'll get Gagunzus because we don't need to worry about uh, fighting Master Yi right away. Oh, he got him. Mmm, that was close. I would like to get that Rift Herald. Because Kindred's definitely going to go for it. We ain't got no pressure on that top side, though. Let's finish this tower in mid. Alright, fantastic. Dude, this Rise fucking kiting. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we went ahead and uh, let that uh, Dominions drop to Rumble there. Uh, he's pretty under farmed. I want to make sure he gets some farm. Riven build a Hex Ranker. She's getting some MR because we are pretty heavy on the magic damage. Uh, I'm probably going to get a lot of Fizz though. Like an Essence Reaver would be quite nice. Because we do need more Fizz damage, and Jax needs damage to deal with Yi anyway. Uh, honestly, a Trinity Gunzu should be more than enough. So Yi's dead again. He's 264. He's doing about as good as a Yi should be doing. <laughs> By the way, guys, so um, I guess I can use this opportunity to talk a little bit about mid Master Yi and why I don't like it. A lot of people ask me, well, can Yi work in mid? Can he work in top? He can work. But the problem is, is by having E mid, you're sacrificing magic damage, and you're also sacrificing wave clear, you're sacrificing poke. If the enemy starts sieging your tower, there's not much you can do about it. Rip. Alrighty. I'm actually kind of expecting Kindred to walk up to my red here. Oh, I'm getting some lag. 
Oh, she just took those. I thought she took them earlier. Oh, man. I am getting lagged out the ass. I'm living in Vietnam, so I don't have lag, but I still have lag. All right. Okay. This wasn't all bad. Oh, we got a Nami there. I have so much gold, and I need to spend it. We're going to finish Trinity. Start working on this, Gunzus. So let's go ahead and grab the attack speed component of Gunzus. Why not? Go ahead and heal the full mana. Yeah, Jax just seems to have a lot of mana problems. I don't play Jax often, but yeah. If you're spamming your abilities in the jungle like I am, you're going to have mana problems. Our Ravenous has healed us for about 3,500 so far. We still don't have full stacks. Alrighty. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way before Kendra did, yeah? I think we can just truck on in there. Oh, my Poro died. What the fuck? So Yi's bot side. That is a barren, baby. The catches, man. No, like, if, if you want to learn something from this, don't do what the enemy did. They're split pushing. They're giving up the Baron here. They're getting caught when Yi is splitting. They shouldn't be doing that. They have no jungler. They have no Yi. They have no reaction to this Baron here. Damn, that was a lot of bursts from our team there. Do you have Zanyas? Oh, you don't. Feels bad, man. He's probably dead. <laughs> oh, man. Rumples didn't even have Zanyas. And he still killed Master Yi. Feels bad, man. I don't know if I should feel happy or sad. Like, because that's my champ, boys. Going 2 7. Feels bad, man. All right. Now we have Gunzus. We're gonna back, and now we can either group or we can choose to split. I like to play my Jax like I play my Master Yi. I like the split push. So you can see that Yi has less CS to me. Like, it just it just doesn't make sense to play Yi in lane. It's just really hard to CS. Because what you do is you farm the jungle until you have Gunzus, and then you just go and you split. So he he gets less farm. Does he have Gunzus? Yeah, he rushed Gunzus instead of a Blade of the Rune King. But he's still really far behind. Mm, I need a healing. I need somewhere to heal. Oh, geez. Rumble's porting in. <laughs> I had one HP! This is how you beat Yi. He can't do anything. It's just so infuriating. Dude, I feel his pain. I'm not even playing on Yi, and I feel his pain. I understand how he's feeling. I had one HP. He just couldn't do anything. I gotta go stop that guy. Alright, let's get Tabbies. They're all AD anyway. Uh, even if she pushes, she can't get the inhibitor. <laughs> Why would you play Yi when you can one-shot people with Jax without Gunzus? He's a better Yi, essentially. Anyway, that's GG right there. But don't get your hopes down, Yi players. If you play Yi good, you can definitely do more right this guy he didn't know how to play that's why you watch videos so that you can learn to play yi better but if the enemy team ever picks your yi pick Jax and poop on his face that's all i gotta say until next time <laughs>